Hey everyone, in this video, we will go over how to set up your Epson F2100 on a network using the Epson NetConfig and Cathari's NeoRib. First, you will need a switch to be able to connect all necessary ports. First, take an Ethernet cable and insert it into the main switch port. Then take the other end and insert it into your computer. Next, take another Ethernet cable, insert it into the next available port on the switch. Then take the other end and plug it into the back of the F2100. Your entire physical setup is already complete. Now, on your computer, go to epson.com and search F2100. Once the printer shows up, click on support. Scroll down to utilities and download the Epson net config. As shown here, follow the instructions to get the software downloaded and installed. Once installed, open Epson NetConfig. You will see your printer and an IP address. Note that IP address and go over to your printer. Click the right arrow from Menu and go to Administrator Menu. From there, go to Network Setup and select IP Address Settings. Now select Panel and input the IP address shown on the Epson NetConfig using the arrow keys. Don't worry about the subnet mask. Once complete, click back until the printer begins to update the new settings. Now go back to your computer and now open NeoRib. Once open, click on the printer port. Highlight TCP slash IP and click Add. Here you will type in the IP address from earlier, then click OK. Then click OK again. You will now see the new connection here. Next, go to the printer name mapping and add a line if not already added. For the physical printer port, select the IP address that you just connected. Name the printer and select the correct printer model. Then click this check mark to submit the changes. Now to test the connection, open a new layout and insert any image. Once adjustments are made, go ahead and click print. Make sure the correct printer is selected and click OK. Now, head over to your printer and confirm the connection is good.